Good afternoon, New York State PTA. I am so excited to be here with one of our partners from Living Tree, Gary. Uh, Gary, thanks so much for joining us. I'm Executive Director Kyle Belikovitsky. We're trying to feature our partners, especially now that uh, are, are doing unique things to support PTA units and parents moving things virtually. Gary, thanks for joining us. Kyle, thank you for having me. Uh, fellow uh, PTA, uh, New York State PTA members, great to meet you virtually and excited to, to walk through this platform and excited to partner. And that's what we're excited about. I know we've sent you, you know, a few emails on Living Tree, but we wanted to kind of have a short video we could send out to one of our unit leaders just so you can see uh, how e easy it is to use. Gary, tell me, you know, process, uh, you know, kind of what's, what's behind Living Tree, what's the philosophy, how, uh, and then I want to jump into the platform a little bit. Awesome. Yeah, you know, the the main uh, emphasis behind the platform was really uh, me as a dad going through PTA, PTA activities um, probably, um, gosh, six or seven years ago at this point. Um, and just as a, at the time I was a single dad, I had two kids trying to fundraise uh, for my daughter for a track. And it was just incredibly painful. And I, I just didn't have the time that I really needed to be uber successful with that, but I really did want to support my daughter in that effort and really the school in in getting this track. And I wished at the time there was a better way, an easier way for me to just do this online um, because that would that would have saved my day as a dad during that period of my life. And um, being an entrepreneur, I, I didn't see anything out there. So I decided to go build something. And that was really the genesis of the platform. It's it's grown to serve districts and there's lots of things that go on in fundraising, uh, but at its core, it's still really that, that main PTA focus, which is, hey, let's make it super easy for parents to give because they, they do care and they do want to give, but sometimes it's, it's hard uh, if they can't make it to the Chipotle night in, in, in this yeah. day and age. Um, you know, going to in-person is impossible. Now, yeah. That's why it's great that this is really totally online. Yeah. Um, so you can do a whole, a fan, you know, a bunch of fantastic things in digital space, as opposed to, as you said, the the restaurant nights or you know the the candy sales, the the yank, you know, the can the can candy or Yankee candles we always sell. So that's why this is so exciting, um, and I appreciate that. I'm as as our members know, a mother of a sixth grader and a child that's out of college, and I fully understand. Uh, it's very hard this year uh, as PTA to try to figure out how we can you know, still raise funds, still do educational programs, still do the family engagement uh, and the support that we give teachers and educators and school buildings and students in kind of the pandemic. Yeah, absolutely. Um, it's made everybody think of creative new ways to, to do things. Um, it's uh, well, it's yeah. the only and one I, choice. So I was going to say, that's why we're so appreciative of this partnership because well, it really is unique. So that's why let's flip over to actual the new website. I'm so excited to see it. I just saw it today. I know you're just starting to showcase it. Um, yes. And let's go through that a little bit for our members. Uh, we're only going to talk about 10, 15 minutes. Um, I can be reached at exec director at nyspta.org if you have any questions. Gary, what's your email for everybody? If you need to reach me, you can reach me at gary at livingtree.com and we will um, get any questions you have answered. And, you know, Kyle, we talked about ease of use. Um, this is already set up for your PTA. So really, you know, the only thing they need to do if they haven't already received a welcome email from us with their username and password is to reach out to us or reach out to you and we will be able to, to get them that info. So there's nothing really you need to do to sign up. It's already there for you. Um, Gary, I'm going to interrupt because we sure. have everybody's logins. So you're a unit leader watching this email. Um, I have your lo I have your login. So we had to ask Gary ahead of time, please set up 1,488 uh, unit logins uh, with generic kind of emails. You will have to change that information the first time you log in. Um, but I know you have that, Gary. I have that information. So if this is piquing your interest. Again, we've sent this out to you already, but I want to get this video in front of you. Shoot uh, myself or Gary an email. We'll give you your unit login and you have to do nothing. Everything is set up for you. Yes, super easy. Super, super easy. So there is, uh, and we'll send this link out, uh, Kyle, with the video, but it is a page on our site that's exclusively dedicated to PTAs. The other thing I'll mention is once these fundraisers start going, there'll be a New York State PTA 
that will give some lift to uh, your um, local PTA's fundraising efforts. So there'll be a statewide page that Kyle will direct um, you know, folks to if they want to know what's going on in New York. Uh, that, will be, that will be the page they go to. Um, you know, just uh, traditionally speaking, you know, the, the things that PTAs tend to care most about is, uh, you know, time, ease of use um, in this environment, you know, a no touch, contactless, um, easy way to, to raise money. And so this does all of those things. And uh, we spent a lot of time talking to PTA treasurers and um, a lot of them are, are really pulling their hair out when it comes to reconciling, you know, cash and online and, um, you know, candy bar sales and just all of the stuff that goes along with the treasurer's position. And that's a lot to ask, especially, um, you know, for a volunteer spot. So with this platform, in addition to just the ability to run fundraisers, and, and I'll go through all the different kinds that you can, you can run, uh, it will save your treasurer hours and hours of reconciling those payments and uh, reseeding those donations because the platform keeps track of all of that for you, whether it be it, uh, a cash donation or an online donation, all of it gets receded. And so your treasurer um, for you unit presidents will, will thank you immensely for doing that. Um, it is, uh, just to cover, it is um, uh, able to access. So there's, although you require a login to get in and access the platform, anybody who gives, any family members or you know, just really anybody will not require a password to get in. So it's all public. Um, they can see it on their iPhone. They can see it on an iPad or obviously on, on a laptop. So uh, there's all kinds of different fundraisers on there because we've worked with tons and tons of PTAs. Uh, there's lots of stuff on there. So there's traditional crowdfunding. So I'm sure everybody knows what that means by now, but for those of you who don't, it means you have a, um, a, a campaign and lots of people give to it. And I, and I thought I'd pull up an example of this. Um, this is a great example. This was a school in Texas. It was a PTA in Texas that wanted to build a um, cover for the kids' playground. As you know, in Texas, although not recently, uh, but normally in the summer, it is very hot. And so they wanted to, the parents wanted to have some shade for their kids. And they came up with this campaign called Love Your School, Love Your Skin, which I thought was awesome. Um, to the crowdfunding aspect of this, this is what I mean. So this, this $13,000 uh, was not by any individual donation. This was 145, you know, relatively small donations that came together and paid for this project. The other thing that I'll mention that I think is awesome about this is once they funded this, and this particular school is, is really interesting because they're a Title I school, um, but they uh, time and time again have been able to raise, you know, $13,000 pretty much every um uh, semester, so twice a year. So they raise a, a pretty good amount of money and they always have great projects and their PTA is, is awesome at that. Um, but they also were able to coordinate with the, the school. So facilities knew that this was going to be um, uh, coming and so they had all the specs on that. And so once the PTA had actually funded the project and purchased it, the facilities people also knew like, okay, we know how to install this. And so that's also one of the advantages of the platform. But that's what I mean by crowdfunding. You know, it can be anything you want. I mean, from, you know, from a project like that to we've had uh, campaigns as small as $100 or $50, where it's literally it for an individual teacher item, like a set of pencils or a set of, um, we had PE, they had gator balls. And so it can be as big or as small as you would like in terms of the, the fundraising size. We also have raffles and drawings, if, if that's allowed in your state. We have fundathons. So, for instance, if you're doing a, uh, a thing where students have to read or uh, a certain number of pages or they have to walk around a certain number of laps, um, you can you can do that. That's a very specific type of fundraiser. We do have membership dues, although I understand you have something for that. But if that's something that you're interested in, it's also there. Again, kind of one-stop shopping. Uh, we have an online store, speaking of shopping, uh, where you'll, and that's coming soon, you have the ability to add spirit wear and things that the PTA may be selling um, uh, in a, uh, right within the same platform. So you won't have to go somewhere else. We have events and ticketing. So if you do run events and you need to sell tickets for that, you'll be able to do that. 
I mean, we literally have tried to think of every possible type of fundraiser that a PTA might yeah. do and have it all in one spot. Um, we have volunteer and sign up management. So if you need to have volunteers come in, we have a way to, to do that. We have um, the ability for reoccurring donations. So um, even on yeah, these crowdfunding, fantastic here. it's awesome. Yeah, yeah. And I think the only thing I think the, these all look fantastic for our units at home. The one thing I know you guys know is that we can't do online raffles in New York um, right now. But I think everything else we could we could we could absolutely use. It's fantastic. It's awesome. Um, and then once you have all of that donor data, you know, as you know, um, being in the PTA, that leadership transitions from year to year, whether because they you know, are tired and they move on or just because their kid, you know, goes to the next level, but there's always a, a transition. And so the data is really important. And so this would stay yeah. with that leader, um, that, that leader, that unit. And so next year or the year after when somebody else is in the president's role or somebody else is in the treasurer's role, they'll have a historical on all of the donations and who's given and how much and you know, reaching back out to those donors. So the idea is to grow that donor database over time, right? And a lot of I'm times, shocked, yeah. Uh, I was gonna say, I'm kind of shocked because this is like a one-stop shop system. I mean, from, from what were our conversation, you can email in here, you can do volunteer management, uh, yes. signups, you can social, share on social media, you can have you know, your crowdfunding campaigns, your walkathons and your readathons, everything here. Yes. All of and it's it. No cost to units to use. No the cost platform. to the units. No cost to That's the units amazing. to use the platform. Um, so this is just comes part of it. I mean, you know, and not everything is uh, not everything is online. Um, there are times where you do need to do stuff offline. And so, you know, for instance, I'm going to show you this really quickly. This is um, this is that same campaign, and you just click this little button. It creates a QR code for you with the the link to the campaign. And so. If you have places around the school physically that you want to print this and post this, uh, a parent can come by and say, oh, that's awesome. Every phone now has a QR code built into the yeah, camera. So you can just QR code it and then donate right from the phone? Right from the phone. That's yep. great. Can you go back? Um, I wanted to see some, something that piqued my interest on the main page. Yes. Um, no, back to the other page, Gary. Was um, click on the fund fundathons. What is I want to I want to look at that. So I know lots of school districts do readathons and walkathons and things like that. How does that yes. work? So I don't have an example to show you. Okay. But um, within the platform, there'll be a section called fundathons. It's a little tab, and in there you would you know say what it is, what is it? Is it you know miles you know or laps per whatever it is, or is it number of pages per? And in That's different fantastic. than, yes, yeah, it's, it's not a pledge. They will give at that time, but they will pledge, you know, for four laps for, for Alexis, who was my daughter. Um, they'll say, okay, I'm going to give 25 cents for every lap she does. And I think she's going to do 10 and they would just pay right at that time. So they, they pay at that moment of the fun time. So it, and you can change that to anything. It can be, we made it so flexible that it can be for anything that you have a thon to. Um, it can accommodate that. So whether it's books or laps around the track, it will it will work. Yeah, that's fantastic. And I, I like the fact that, you know, so these are already set up for every New York State PT unit. So they already, you already have their page ready to go. We yep. already have logins for yep. every unit leader. Yep. We could literally email them their login and they could start looking at this tomorrow and get, get things up and running for online fundraising. They could have it done and they could have money flowing into their fundraiser tomorrow if yeah, they wanted to do this. Um, and awesome. I like the fact that the dashboard has so many different, you know, things in it, options in it. Yes, right. It's everything that you would want all in one place. And then next year or the year after, that person that, who sits in that seat will have a much easier time uh, of knowing what- All the what data happened. stored from the past years. Yes, yes. Yeah. And so it's awesome. Um, we also will uh, integrate into an existing website. So a lot of PTAs have their own website. So we'll, we have the ability to put a donate now button in there. So you say, hey, you want to come to our fundraiser? Here it is. They click on oh, that. That's fantastic. It'll, it's great. And then we have all the reporting. So I know, you know, PTAs have to report out on their financials. Um, and so all of that is kind of built in. So, you know, you know, how much money you've raised cash and online and for what items. And so all of that, those accounting pieces 
are also taken care of when you have to report at the end of the year. So yeah, this is fantastic. It's like a one stop shop. Now, how do PTAs, so I'm assuming they have to connect to your system for, for payments electronically? Yes. To the Great question. And, so, and they're used to that now, I think. They're used to that because our membership system does something similar. So they yeah, have so, to have it like an account. So membership dollars go back and forth. So exactly. So we use PayPal as our um, transactor. Uh, so they process all the credit card payments. And so there's a one-time setup within the platform. You link your PayPal account to the Living Tree account, and then that's the only setup that they have to do. Yeah, that's fantastic. And as a reminder for our units, PayPal is approved use for PTAs. Um, so you know, so there's no issues there with that payment. Oh, this sounds fantastic. That's um, super cool. If anybody has questions, now we're going to send out the website link to, to this um, site too when we send out this video. Um, this seems like a no brainer to me, especially now where we're, we can't be, you know, doing checks back and forth and we can't send backpacks, flyers back and forth. And parents and families really can't go into school buildings. This is a fantastic way to really uh, fundraise for the resources that you need to support the educational, you know, things that your school district needs. And then, you know, uh, this is fantastic. Yes, that's exactly absolutely right. You know, the needs of the school are still there. Um, you know, and so, you know, this is a great way for those units to be able to support those teachers, support their community, but do in a way that's safe and secure and compliant with everything that needs to, to be in place, um, you know, given everybody's circumstances. Um, and, you know, you will open up new donors. You'll see that people that, that traditionally haven't given in the past will give because it's easy to do online and they can kind of connect and there's that social aspect uh, to well, it. Oh, I'm so sure. I mean, cool. I know if I send this to my mother, she would give. Uh, oh, or, absolutely. Or my aunts or uncles or cousins or immediate friends. I mean, I think that's what we do, right? There's something that's meaningful to us, something that benefits Jackson and his school. They will yes. absolutely give for that. 100%. You know, I had this, uh, I did this once with my son and you know he did the same thing. I sent it out to my mom and dad, a couple relatives, and I think his fundraising goal was like $100, and he raised $160 in two hours, and we were done. I mean, that was it. No, no selling, no knocking on doors. We just sent the link to some friends and family. Yeah. And <laughs> That's amazing. I mean, amazing. And, <laughs> yeah. and right now, we know that it's been hard to fundraise this past month. So this is a fantastic opportunity for units to have something that's already ready for them. Yes. Um, they can start right away. We have your passwords and we would yep. roll. Yes, absolutely. Um, and, you know, I can't, I can't understate, you know, the ability to uh, give some visibility, Kyle, at the state level, this page of, you know, what's going on in New York State and the kind of collective uh, um, tide rises uh, all boats in, in this case, I think is absolutely the case. So um, super excited about that, excited to partner with you. I think it has everything that you could possibly want in a single platform. And if it's not there, we're always open to suggestions. We're always developing new features. Um, yeah, so we're super this, this is so exciting. Gary, thanks. I didn't realize, you know, I know we've been working together for, um, you know, for this school year. And I, I guess I didn't realize all of the upgrades and different options that are now available on the new website. Yes, it's so cool. And when that it's online totally store comes three, a few months ago, totally different. Yes. Uh, and when we launch that new online store, it's going to be such a game changer for PTAs, because I know there's a lot of PTAs not only do- Beard wear and everything. Beard wear, yes, yes. So I'll have inventory and sizes. You no, know, I know everybody, the cool thing is masks now, sadly. <laughs> I say sad, cool, but sad. With yes. the school logo on and the kids seem to love them. Yeah, it's great. Why not, right? Why I, uh, know, so. I know, I wish we didn't have to, but we do. Gary, this has been fantastic. Um, I want you to share your email again. Yes, so if you need to get a hold of us for any reason, uh, my email is gary at livingtree.com and we will get back to you ASAP. So, And if you email Gary, he can immediately send you your logins to your own personalized site. Um, yes. It's already set up even in your PTA's name, so uh, which was really exciting. And, and you know my email, it's exec, E-X-E-C, director at nyspta.org. Gary, thanks so much for this, I'll say, real short demo um because we want to send this out to our unit leaders uh real you know next week is the plan so perfect perfect we'll look forward to it and look forward to a great rest of the year and next year good you too gary we'll talk we'll talk soon see you kyle